I said there are five heights in the spirit. The first height in the spirit is the height above distraction. You break distraction off your soul. Because when you begin to ascend, you will discover that anxiety, distractions, fear of all sorts will be pulling you down as though there's a weight on your shoulder. You will press in prayer, in worship, and in meditation of scripture to go above distraction. And you hit that realm where it looks as if distractions don't exist. They will come and tell you, do you know this song that is raining? You say, I've never heard it. They'll be wondering, are you not in Nigeria? The other day, somebody told me one of the popular songs that is raining. He said, the person who sang it was arrested in Tanzania. I said, which song is that? He called one strange name. I said, I've never heard it. And the person was shocked. I, and honestly, I've never heard it. Because the world where we live, even if I'm in a bus and they are play, playing a secular song, I won't remember it. I can't pick it. I can't. Sometimes when you are in a bus, they are singing a song, you will drop. You will not know they were playing music. Not because you are trying to close your ears. The energy level where you are operating, your soul can't commune with that sound. It's the first level of ascension. You break distraction. The second level of ascension is the realm of momentum. Now you can stand in God's presence. There are many people, if you carry them to the prayer altar today, after 30 minutes, they'll be tired. They don't have momentum. Stamina is not there. And stamina in the spirit is focus. Focus. So when you come, you pierce through the, sky, the cloud. And you begin to... That's why I told you humorously on Sunday that instead of looking around in the natural, there are things to look around in the spirit. Because sometimes when you are praying, the other day I was in the place of prayer with an intercessor, a strong intercessor. And immediately my eyes opened. I saw two perfumes. And there was a, a the, the perfume, the other perfume I saw had a sword, a long sword. And so I wanted to collect it. They said, no. They now gave the intercessor. <laughs> I said, why? They said, that is, he, he will need it. You will not need it. He is a fighter. So they gave the intercessor the perfume with a long sword. And they gave me a perfume that had something shining on it like the sun. I now discover we are different. When the moment I collected my perfumes, perfume, and I saw flags, flags of nations passing. And it looked as if I stood in the middle. And the flags were rotating around me. Nations. Some of the flags I saw have gone there. Meanwhile, that intercessor doesn't need to travel because his throne is in his altar. My own throne is when I go out. If I enter the mission field, the oil begins to flow. I, I saw a perfume. But you will not see that until you have momentum because sometimes it will take focus in the place of prayer for a long time for you to see something. I'm not talking time because you can be in the prayer altar for 10 hours and in 10 hours you are distracted. Momentum is not time bound, it's focus bound. You can zero in on God and you hold on to the horns of the altar. And then when you go beyond that level, you now come to the realm of fire. That's where they charge your soul. They charge you. Those who pray to the realm of charging, they know that when they pray for a while, you who don't know the technology of charging, when you see them praying, you'll be embarrassed. It's not their fault. They're on fire. So they may start the prayer gently. After a while, they become like white lions. Even the prayer... You will now be wondering, what type of prayer is this? Do you want to kill yourself? It's a height. It's a height. You may see a pretty young lady who walked into the service gorgeously. She now enters fire, the realm of charging. Then that lady suddenly becomes like a lioness. You, if you don't know, you will jump. Don't worry. When you reach there, you will see strange things. Because in the realm of charging, people are strange. Some people, if they enter that realm, all they do is to run. They can't stand there. They can't stand. They will run for four hours. They will just be running. They will be running. The energy is not in them. It came from that realm. Others, when they enter the realm of charging, 
they are deshaped. The person that came to the prayer like this, suddenly you see him like this. Is <laughs> they are is is current. Is something is happening to him. It's current. You will now see somebody in the prayer room like this. He love her. He love her. You say, what is this? Don't copy. Don't copy. When you are connected to your own current, your shape will come out. When you reach that realm, hear this. When you reach that realm, you have become a weapon. You are no longer a man. When the Bible says we are God's battle axe, that's what he's talking about. Because in that realm, if you are praying, if you carry a seat like this, that seat can be a governor. You just, you just expelled him from the office. In that realm, you can pick a chair. That chair you carried. You have uprooted a prince in darkness. You will hear tomorrow that he's dead. In that realm, if you are running, it's not wrong. That, that step you are taking is promotion. You are leaping from one dimension to another dimension. You will finish that kind of prayer. And they will come out you have they will invite you to see the president they will invite you from five nations you'll be wondering what is going on every step you took there was a dimension it's called the realm of charging you are a weapon now when you reach that realm your prayer enterprise stops you can't go beyond that realm unless you are summoned it is from the realm of charging that's what the bible said in is it Titus now Jude verse 20 he said building up yourself until you reach charging is your enterprise he said building up yourself God the Holy Ghost won't help you there that one it will take discipline spiritual discipline to reach there because you are the one building yourself many people have not reached that realm some people have not even overcome destruction let alone momentum let alone charge he said building up yourself upon your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost the word building up is the same word edifice and it means to charge until you mount up when you reach that realm then you come to the realm of the voice now the reason i'm explaining this is because before the emergence of the apostolic move they taught people prayer to the charging realm because if you come to that realm you will sense the anointing if you leave the realm of charging you can open blind eyes. You can deal with cripples. You can deal with demons. That's where the move of God stopped. This is why all you have are anointed men. And when you come to a place, people are walking wonders. You can be charged. When the charge is reduced, you can still fornicate. Because you have not yet been summoned to the community of the immortals. Because to ascend beyond charge, you have to be invited. Come up either. So they taught us how to stir the anointing. I started working in the anointing close to 20 years ago because they taught me charging a long time ago. And I followed people that walk in the anointing. But you can walk in the anointing with chronic anger. You can walk in the anointing with chronic lust because you have not come to the presence. All you are doing is that you are stirring your spirit and the oil is flowing. When you enter the next realm, the realm of the voice, you are summoned. From there, they will now begin to shape you. Because in the realm of summon, they are not empowering you necessarily. They are making you. So he said, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. The moment he came there, nobody was interested in the anointing. They started censoring him. And he said, I'm a man of unclean lips. They took the coals of fire and touched him. That's the ministry of the presence. You will pray into charging. But when you read the realm of charging, your prayer will end. If you want to go forward, you now wait and see what you will be told. So your prayer silences your spirit because it breaks distraction. Your prayer charges your spirit so that you can bring ministry to people who are in lack. But if you want to go further with God and be transformed, you must learn to wait. Because they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew. Renewer transformation begins to take place they shall renew their strength so they will call you and then they will chisel you and when they are done chiseling you they will now send you as an ambassador that's the realm of judgment if you leave the realm of destruction 
to the realm of the momentum to the realm of charge to the realm of the voice then you come to the realm of the judgments of god there they will give you scrolls and tell you go and represent this dimension to your generation and so when you come out you become a living epistle a testament of the dimensions of god the apostolic ministry that is emerging now the reason the focus is not anointing is because the body of christ has already perfected anointing because they've taught people how to pray to the third realm they've taught people the word of god to the third realm but they've not taught people the realm where you allow the king to chisel you and break you and make you so that you can represent him and this is why god is raising new voices this is not an attempt to say the past failed because everything they knew we do they will build on the labor of the past because if you are building a story building you won't start from the fourth floor you will of necessity build on the foundations that already existed so we will do what they did before but we will add something by the holy spirit and so that addition god has called a few functionaries by his spirit and he has opened the testimony he has opened the scroll to them so that they can bring the body of christ to that higher realm of maturity where everybody begins to know god for themselves and the emphasis is no longer about what god gives or what they can do through god it's about who they become in god is as many as received him to them he gave the power to become the sons of god 